So for the uh, gearheads out there, here's a choice of camshafts. These will be billet camshafts. I guess that's aluminum. And uh, obviously we'll have to do some stuff with the valve springs and all that kind of stuff. But uh, after it's broken in, after it's been baselined, and uh, at some point, we don't know when, uh, it'll probably be when it's converted to EFI, uh, we're going to change the cams out. Now, I've contacted the manufacturer of these cams. These are for Vanguard 23 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engines and said, which one of these definitely should not even be considered? Instead of telling me which one to use, tell me which ones don't not to use. Uh, so keep in mind, we're going to be naturally aspirated EFI in the beginning, and we may turbo or supercharge this thing. Uh, I told the manufacturer that we could run as high as 5,000 RPM, but I doubt it. I'm probably going to limit it to uh, 4,400. Um, I'm anticipating it runs at 3,600. And 4,000 RPMs on takeoff, possibly with boost. Uh, boost probably around 5 PSI. And uh, we also want to have the option to maybe boost it at 3,000, 3,200 with 2 PSI or something like that. So, uh, you know, keep that in mind. Because it's possible with boost to run it at a lower RPM that it can maintain altitude and then boost it. Why would we want to do that? I don't know. It's in the cards, though. So take a look at these cams. Uh, one thing to keep in mind is that, uh, you know, if you're boosting, you don't want a whole lot of overlap between the intake and end exhaust valves because your boost will be just running straight through the cylinder. So that's why you want to keep in mind that it could get boosted. But uh, which one of these cams should we select? Take a look at them.